the gas mask has really been something that's been a part of my subconscious. The mask carries identity, these shoes carry identity. It's not just sneakerheads, but it's musicians. I have collectors like Everlast. For me, it's just tied to being a b-boy. If you had a gold chain on and some new sneakers, you good. nobody could tell you shit. When I first started making the masks, there was a lot of backlash. I was even receiving death threats. People were mad, and I stuck with it. This is my studio at Sneaker Inc. It's like a, a weird Mythbusters-esque workshop garage. This one back here hurts my feelings. I've already chopped down a pair of the satin bread Jordan 1s. And that's, that's enough of a sacrifice right there, but the collector really wants to flex, and so he says we gotta use two pairs on his Darth Maul mask. I'm all right with that, except for this second pair that he sent me is my size. There's only 501 of them. Now, after I've chopped them down, I guess there's 499. I think they're going for anywhere from 1,800 to 2,000, but the mask will be worth it. My name is Gary Lockwood. I'm better known as Freehand Profit. And for the last eight years, I have been making one of a kind masks out of highly coveted sneakers. I've been able to work with brands like Nike, Adidas, even made masks out of the Versace chain reactions. And I've been blessed to meet and have collectors like Method Man, Kevin Durant, Everlast. On average, each mask can take anywhere from four to six weeks, but they really have a life of their own. Some of them are completed in, in just a day. This is the Air Max One Hummingbird mask. With the Hummingbird, of course, you know, you know, you got that signature real long beak. You can take the nose off and it's got my signature logo. It's got that little pop of the infrared that always draws me in and fits well with the Hummingbird theme. This pair is probably the most rare pair of sneakers that I've cut up. It's actually a colorway that was designed by a child from Dornbecker's Children's Hospital. She designed this colorway, and then it was applied to three pairs of KD 10s. One for her, one for KD, and one that sold at a charity auction for 35000 But this is a golden unicorn made from Asics Gel Light 3s got a vintage cattle horn and horse jawbone worked in with some faux fur. So as a kid, art was always my main focus. In elementary school, I heard hip hop for the first time. It had a huge impact on me. That's what got me into sneakers was my love of hip hop. What I like to compare it to is I sample the sneakers the way a DJ samples a record. Because I grew up with this passion for hip hop, I always look at the fifth element of hip hop as participation. If I was going to be a part of this culture, I had to participate in it. As an artist, I knew it had to be through my art, and it was all about finding a unique way to express who I am. So I started making masks in 2010, and it came about in a roundabout way. Friend's mom was throwing out an old handbag, and I was like, well, if you're gonna throw that out, I'll cut it up and I'm gonna make a mask out of it. But I don't love handbags, so I had to think to myself, what has similar leathers, cool colorways, but that means something to me? And the answer was on my feet the whole time. You asked if I ever see shoes, and I'm like, I wanna make a mask out of that? Well, these Sasonis are just so eye-grabbing. The work has changed my understanding and appreciation for sneakers. Coming up, it was about the staples. And then as I started making the mass, I found new classics to other people and new stories to tell. Cutting the, the Jordan 3 is nice because there's just a balance to the size of the panels. So the first step is dissecting it from the upper from the midsole. When I first started making the masks, there was a lot of backlash early on. I was even receiving death threats the first couple of years. 
if you're a sneakerhead, you're like, oh God, you just chopped a pair of mags, you just chopped a pair of Satin Jordan 1s. And you know, if I was worried about chasing hype, I would burn out way too quick. After I cut the upper from the sole and midsole, I usually start by cutting the tongue out. I'm also of that age that I've seen enough trends come and go and come back. Separating certain parts, sometimes it's along a color blocking line, harvesting the materials based on what they are. I really believe in staying true to yourself. What's gonna matter is that you're happy doing what you wanna be doing. Infamous Jordan 3 heel tab. So we're all wrapped up at my studio at Sneaker Inc. We're gonna head over to Everlast Studio and meet up with him. If I remember right, Ev saw my work on Instagram and reached out through email, and he was interested in a custom mask. Met up with him at his studio at the time and kind of just been a habit ever since. I came up listening to Everlast and House of Pain, and that had a huge influence on me. The fact that he's now a collector of my art, and I was so uh, inspired and influenced by, by his, really ties everything full circle. As a hip hop head, as somebody who outsiders said I had no place in the community, but it always came from people outside of the hip hop community. And that's where my loyalty lies, is that's where I had the support. And so that's who I make artwork for. Yeah, hey, what's up, fam? Good to see you. Morning. Appreciate it. This one is scary, dude. That's it. See? It's so interesting. <laughs> I mean, that Stormtrooper hand, though, dude. Come on. This one was one that I spent way too long on. You mentioned that you have a waxing and waning addiction to sneakers. You've also seen it come for how many years now? Oh, man. Well, like, for me, I was a Nike kid, you know, so Jordans were it. Mm -hmm. You could buy Jordan 3s when I was young, like mm -hmm. when they came out. Go you could go back thing. six months later and buy some more Jordan 3s, man. They yeah, yeah. It wasn't some shit where you, they were gone. It goes in waves, though, right? Because like a few years ago, you wouldn't see a pair of Jordan 3s on shelves. Now they're hitting the outlets. I don't know. It's, it's, I, I don't want to be the old guy that's like, eh, it ain't what it was. But it just ain't because it just was different. It's like just I said, different. It, Not it, better or worse. It, it wasn't different. anybody chasing resales or anything. It was just about holding on to those sneakers. Right, you know right. I mean? um, that's, that's what you're dealing with, dude. This is, this is like <laughs> just the studio. You don't even know. This is just like, I don't wear shit here. This is just shit that winds up here because it was in the car. When you go uh, off white. Oh, yeah. Sleeper mask. Oh, see, there you go. You got the height and you got the sleepers. You haven't even broke yeah. these out yet, huh? Everybody and their mama wearing none these. Of, none of these are worn at all right now. Right. The sneakers, that's probably the primary reason I buy or keep sneakers. Also, is it makes me feel young. It makes me feel attached to my inner child. Mm -hmm. And as an artist, that's the only thing I really need to do is keep that motherfucker exactly. alive. Exactly. You know keep mean? that fire Keep burning. that motherfucker alive because exactly. he's feeding the the real kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's just like one of my oh, favorite things yeah, ever. You can't right? be mad at that's that. That's like right a Coca-Cola in a glass bottle. That's just iconic Americana that's, that's, at its that's best. It. I appreciate you showing us that, man. This is where I might start seeing a new shape that I wasn't expecting, and then I'll go in that direction. Other times, it's it's really just a freestyle. I think there's a lot of growth to still experience. I like to think that I will follow my interests and I'll follow my passions, and that will provide the organic growth and take me to places that I need to be.